Welcome to the Biomaterials Lab. Safety is your first priority, so always ensure to wear proper personal protective equipment on you while you're working in the lab, which includes the lab coat, safety glasses, and gloves. For further safety information, please visit safety.rice.edu. The Luminex is a digital light projection or DLP-based bioprinter. It uses visible light of 405 nanometers to cure liquid resin. This is the light shield. Please keep it closed while printing. This is the build platform. It measures 65 by 40 millimeters. And the objects can be printed up to 50 millimeters tall. These are the white clamps. Here is the power button and a USB port to upload 3D objects. And here is the touch screen. Turn the light shield to repeat the build platform and the watt location. Let it click in place. To remove the build plate, turn the blue knob clockwise and slide the build platform. To sterilize the build platform, soak it in 70% ethanol for 30 minutes and let it air dry. To reinstall the build platform, Slide the build platform and turn the blue knob until it clicks in place. These are the clamps to hold the vat in place. Pull them up and turn before installing a vat. This is a PDMS coated vat. Place the vat over the glass surface and turn these clamps to hold the vat in place. Power on the printer by toggling the power switch twice. Once the printer boots up, we can see options on the touch screen. We have different menus on the top and options here. First, we start with the file menu and proceed to the menus on the right. We can scroll through the library to find the object we want to print. Tap on the scroll bars to navigate as needed. We can import .stl files to the library using a USB flash drive. Today, we will be printing a serpentine small model. So tap on the file and the 3D model can be seen here on the screen. We can turn it around. We can check the wireframe mode to look at the model in wireframe and to look at the internal structure of the model. After confirming the file, tap continue. Next, we go to the prepare menu. Here, we can choose a resolution between 100 or 50 microns, which determines the Z resolution. And now we can tap on Slice. We can preview the slices by scrolling through the layers. These slices are the images that are going to be projected onto the resin to build the object. Next, to prepare the build platform, loosen the metal screw while holding the build platform from the bottom. Now, the build platform can move freely in Z axis. Push the build platform all the way up and tighten the screw. Now, tap on prepare. After the build platform is lowered and stopped, loosen the metal screw and loosen the knob on the right. With one hand, gently hold the build platform onto the vat and tighten both the metal screw and the knob on the right. Now tap on continue. Now the build platform raises.
Now we go to the next menu, which is the print menu. Here we will adjust the exposure time, power level, and the first layer time scale factor. Today we will be printing with Cellink Pegda Start material. The print settings for this material can be found online. But when we are working with a new material, we may have to optimize these settings as needed. So for Pegda Start Photo Ink, the settings are the exposure time needs to be 3 seconds and the first layer time scale factor is 4 and the power level has to be 20 milliwatts per centimeter squared. We have a calibration sheet for this printer which translates the percentage power to absolute units. So we can adjust the power to be at 40%. We have changed the exposure time as needed and the first layer time scale factor and the projector power. Before tapping on continue, go to advanced menu. Here you can enable print bed heating and adjust the build platform if needed. Now go back to print menu and tap on continue. Now we are taken to the status menu. We can see the status of the printer, the print bed, and the projector. Now add 1 ml of the photo ink into the vat. Close the light shield and tap on start the print. After the print is completed, turn the light shield to remove the build platform, turn the knob clockwise and slide the build platform. And we have the printed object on the build platform. Using a plastic razor, remove the printed object and we can remove the uncured photo ink using DI water and here we have a washed and clean printed object. After removing the printed object from the build platform, clean the build platform using DI water or 70% ethanol. To sterilize the build platform, Soak it in 70% ethanol for 30 minutes and let it air dry. Now dry the surface of the build platform using paper towel. Once the build platform is completely dry, we can reinstall the build platform. To reinstall the build platform, slide the platform and turn the blue knob to lock it in place. And remove the PDMS lined vat. We can save the photo ink or discard it properly. The PDMS lined vats can be cleaned using DI water. Turn these vat clamps and turn the light shield. 
Now to shut down, go to the systems menu and tap on shutdown and tap yes. If the printer is powered off for a prolonged period of time, the PC can discharge and lose BIOS settings and in turn cause PC booting issues. So please leave the printer powered on. For further information or questions, please contact the Biomaterials Lab Manager.